Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a desk tour video. I finally organized everything inside of my desk, so I figured it was a perfect time to share with you guys what my setup is looking like now. So on the top, as you can see, I have a couple things. On the left, I keep my MacBook. Um, that's pretty much where I do everything, do all my editing, and just play around on there pretty much all the time. As the background, I have the view from the Starbucks in Harajuku. It was just really beautiful um, and the sun was setting, so I thought that it was a great background. And then on the right of my desk, I have both my writing utensil drawers and also my washi tape. So we'll go ahead and get a little closer to see those in a minute. And on the top of my writing utensils, I have my coaster. And on the top of the washi tape organizer, I have two little succulents in a little concrete container. So I really, really like how that looks and I really like the more industrial feel. So the mixes of like metals, woods, and concrete is something that I really like. So let's go ahead and get a little bit closer and go into more detail. So starting off with this case here, these are all of my pencils. This case, this drawer is kind of probably the most chaotic drawer, but that's just because I don't have that much. Everything kind of flings around. I also keep my Sharpie and pens for work in there. And then the rest are pretty much just pencils and erasers and lead. Then in here we have all of my pens. Um, if you want to see any of these drawers in more detail, go check out my stationary declutter for my writing utensils. Then you'll get to see all of these um, more close up. But this is just all of my pens. Then we have all of my markers or more, I guess, more like felt tip type of writing utensils in there. And then the very bottom, I keep all of my, what I call, art supplies. So these are a lot of, like, brush pens for calligraphy or practicing Japanese. And I have my scissors, and I also have my little um, Prima watercolor set, which I really like. So this is a drawer that I really enjoy, but I don't use it as much as I should, so I definitely would like to use these more often. And as for my washi, I have a couple different ways I organize them. Some are organized by brand, some are organized from where I purchased them. So we will just start ahead on this top left. This one used to be empty and Moss Day, but this is only housing my empty tapes at this time because Moss Day grew to where it had its own um, drawer. So I haven't been able to get that off. Um, I will try to do that later. But here are my empty tapes. Then I have my Moss Day tapes and then some overflow um, from some of my other drawers. So I really love these. I think that MT and Mase are easily my favorite brands. And then in here are all of the washi that I picked up when I was in Japan. So these are like Kiki's Delivery Service, Haikyuu, Neko Atsume, like more character themed washi. Down here I have all of my E10 Moto washi tapes and then my two Sakura Petal washi tapes from uh, Sakura Lala. So I have both of those in there. I had to order a backup because I thought it was so cute I didn't want to be without it. And then these are all of the washi tapes that I purchased from AliExpress. So super inexpensive, like two or three bucks at the most. And they're decent quality. Then we have my miscellaneous drawer, but this is essentially just my thin washi tapes. So at the top, those really thin ones are from MT. And then I have some from Michaels and just a bunch of random different places. And this drawer is from Michaels. I hardly use these washies, but I probably should. I really love the... Um, like the water marble ones, so I hope to use those more. Then we have some more random ones. This again would be from like Michaels or Hobby Lobby or anything like that. And then this last door is a little sticky because it's so filled. And then lastly, these are all of my scotch tapes. Uh, I really don't use these because you can't really write on them because they have that shiny finish, but I do still like these patterns, so I'm hanging on to them for now. All right, so let's go ahead and check out the rest of the desk. All right, so starting with the top drawer, this is where I keep all of my stickers. So this is such a huge improvement from what my desk used to look like. It was pretty crazy. So right here, I just have some stickers that I made for myself for um, the next couple of weeks. And then here is where I keep all of my sticker organizers. So these all come from Sakura Lala as well. And these I can just put sticker sheets in and it makes my life so much easier. So most of my stickers luckily are the size where they can fit in these. So I have, I believe, three of those. So they're all different and I color code them on the outside based on what is on the inside. So those just live right in there. And then I have all of my washi tape samples right here. So I have quite a few, if you can tell. Um, 
either from ones that have been sent in orders online, some from my pen pal, some that I've made. So there are just so many. And these are perfect for when you travel if you don't want to bring all of your washi rolls. So those just live right here. And then I also just have one of my little weeks um, sticker sets and then some of my TV stickers that I've kind of cut up. So I just leave them in there so they don't fall everywhere. And then here in the back, I have a Sumiko Gurashi sticky note set. So this is really cute. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, but I hope to really soon. You know what? Actually, I think I did use two of these on my plan with me in the monthly spread. So I really like that. My little Rilakkuma label stickers, but these are actually just character stickers. So it's a bunch of different characters. And I got rid of the ones I didn't like and just kept the ones I did. And then back here, we have a couple different things. These are some washi stickers that I've cut out from my rolls and just stuck on those little washi boards um, and all my extra ones. Then the clear sticky notes from Muji, oh, another washi board, and then my notebooks from Hobonichi. Um, I believe that I used, I don't think I've used this one yet, but this one I was using to swatch some of my different art supplies and pens. Then this is also from Sakura Lala. It's from the same brand, but this one is actually a flake saver or flake organizer. So that's where all of my sticker flakes live. And I like to cut out the ones on the back sometimes if it's a nice small size so you can know which flakes you actually have. So the, the Gudetama ones are perfect for that. So I love to do that, but some of them are just too big to put in there. So I have quite a few different ones. Then I have my Create 365 different these are like huge sticker books so I got fitness one a mom one this one really there's not too much in here that I couldn't use I can't use like the things about children or things like that but a lot of these have to do with like errands and stuff so I thought it was perfect and then I also just have this huge set which is my favorite I wish they made more like this because it's just very generic anybody can use this then I also have my sticker savers and a little set of stickers for recollections I have my larger stickers in here that would not fit into those smaller organizers, so it's just in a little Rilakkuma clear file. So some of these are from AliExpress, some are from Etsy, some are from Japan. Then I have that flimsy little stencil from Michaels that I really don't like, but I'm just hanging on to. And then at the very bottom, I keep my Neko Atsume special sticker book, which I picked up in Japan. All right, so let's move on to the next drawer. Okay, so this drawer, Unfortunately, some of these things kind of slip around because it's not packed as tightly, but usually this would all be towards the front. So over here on the side, I have my little like binder clips and my moldable eraser. And here I keep all of my deco runners, which are some of my absolute favorite things to use in my planner, if it would focus. Yeah, I love using these for my planner. Then I have a little washi set that I put together myself using the MT tapes. This is a washi cutter that you can get at Michael's. It comes with washi tapes already in it, but I preferred these ones, so I made my own little like pastel set. Then I have all of my random stamp sets, so some of these are from, oh, hi Lunar. Lunar wants to come see what's up. He's probably going to try to step in here. All right, so now that he's decided he's done with that, um, some of these are from Studio L2E, and then most of them are from Michael's. I can't remember the brand right now. Um, I think it's Hero Arts. Um, it was like a special little, they had like a couple different sets. And then I have one of my smaller stamp blocks, and my larger one is over here. And then below that I have some more Studio L2E stamps. And then I have my little collection of Versa Magic stamp inks. So I have like literally all the colors that I wanted. So I just kind of put it in a rainbow order. And then in here we have my extra glue pen, um, some backups for my Coletto, and then a little Rilakkuma stapler. And then I keep some of the stamps that I got on various packages because they're really cute. This right here is where I put my little washi um, scraps after I've cut them out just so I don't have them all over my desk. And in the back here I have some push pins for a bulletin board that I have in my room and also this little tape that I got from 
mochi things, I believe. So that's that drawer. So this drawer is probably one of the most chaotic ones because um, it's kind of just catching everything that didn't have a place in the other drawers. So here I have my kanji notebook and I have this little cinema roll pencil case on the top. I think it's super cute and I absolutely love this notebook. I picked this up at Itoya in Ginza and it is such good quality. I really wish I had bought more of these. I also have my Q pencil board. Then I have this little Q pouch that my pen pal got for me. Some more Q stuff, a clear file, another clear file, and then a pencil case which has some random Q stuff in it as well. In the back I have all of the writing utensils I use when I'm studying Japanese. So this is like literally everything I need. So yeah, I just decorated a little bit with some stickers just to make it more fun. And I, this is from Muji and I absolutely adore this pencil case. In the back I have a stamp making kit. Then we have some stamp cleaner, which doesn't really have a place right now. And then my cutting board, my Sumiko Garashi letter set that I use to write to my pen pal. A little notebook, which really I don't use for anything, so I don't know why I have it. And then an extra cover for my original Hobonichi. In the far back, I keep more of my stamps that I don't really use all that regularly. And then I also keep my little Rilakkuma and Co Rilakkuma. This is the Neko version. They had this little stamp set and I really love this. I wish I used it more, but this is one of my favorites. It just doesn't happen to fit at the top. And uh, in addition to these, which are little stamps that I got from Saria. And they have you can buy these little pegs separately so you can write out... Um, you can put the little stamps into these little posts and write messages and keep everything lined up, which I think is a great idea. Then in this little container here is where I keep all of my cutting utensils, um, such as like blades and things like that. And I also have some of my stick scissors in there as well. Then I have this little Gudetama stamp tower, which I got at Loft, I believe, in Shibuya, I think. Then I have some of the friction stamps. I have a birthday one, a cat one, a book and then a school, um, a random planner band, a little deco runner from Daiso, and then a whiteout runner, and then a blue runner. Another little stamp tower that I got from Daiso, and then extra blades for my X-Acto knife. This is one of the stamps that I, this is like the first stamp I ever made. It's pretty bad, but it's a little cat. <laughs> and then I have this some other, uh, some scissors, some tweezers, and then a hole punch. And this drawer has all of my planners in it. So I have my cousin, which has that um, really cute Harajuku kawaii theme cover on it. Um, I think this is called Thank You All, if I'm not mistaken. And then I have my original, which is just has the plain black on black cover, which is like my favorite. And then here in the back, we have my two weeks. So I have the daydream weeks. So then I have this with a little cover on cover that came with my weeks from last year. And then I also keep my Chi Sweet Home weeks in here and this is kind of like my finance tracking. And then we have where I keep all of my magazine clippings. So that's literally all these are is just various clippings from magazines and then some more. And then below there I have my clear file collection which I can show you just briefly. I just have like a ton of clear files so I have quite the collection going. So that is literally what lives in this binder here. Then I have some rulers here and then a notebook from Muji that I haven't used yet and then some of my Japanese flashcards. So in this drawer I have a lot of my Otaku USA different magazines that I have yet to cut up in addition to my Write Stuff catalog. Then I have my Haikyuu binder which has all of my Japanese study material in it. Then I have my vegetarian binder which just has like recipes and things about that. And then I have this little folder down here which just holds all of my loose papers. And further in the back I just have a sketchbook and some more papers and watercolor paper. Alright guys, so that is everything I keep in my desk. Hopefully you enjoyed this desk tour. And make sure you like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to stick around for more videos. And check out my other videos if you haven't already. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.